close your eyes and be with the breath. Watch the breath as it comes in, watch it as it goes out, and see what kind of breathing is comfortable. You're trying to create a home for the mind here, a place where you can settle in, rest, and do your work. Work. The mind does have some work that needs to be done. We know that we have some greed, aversion, and delusion in here that have been causing us some trouble. And the problem is that we tend to go with these things when they, when they come rising up in the mind. It's like a car driving up. We're standing on the side of the road. Somebody drives up and says, hey, hop in. And you hop in with them. And then you don't ask where they're going, what they're doing. Sometimes you have an idea. But all too often, we just jump right in without asking, and then we find that they're planning to take us out off to the side of the edge of the city and shoot us and throw us out on the side of the road. In other words, they, these thoughts can make us do things that we later regret. We've, we've heard our opportunity to do good in life, and we've actually added more bad karma to our stock. And so it's good to be able to ask, okay, who are you? Where are you going? Is this a good place to go? Is this a reliable driver? It means you need a good, solid place to stay. If you're standing on the side of the road and you feel it's dangerous there or uncomfortable there, you're more likely to just jump in wherever. But if standing on the side of the road, you've got shelter, you've got a good place to stay, you're in your home on the side of the road and somebody comes driving up, you can look in your home, you can look from your home and say, okay, who are you? Where are you going? I've got a nice place to stay here. I don't have to go unless it's something really worthwhile. This way you're less a slave to your thoughts, less likely to be overcome by greed, aversion, and delusion. And this is a gift not only to yourself, but also to other people. They don't have to be the victims of your greed, aversion, and delusion either. So this is what, one of the reasons why meditation is such a meritorious thing. puts us more in control of our own minds, and it makes us better people to live with. It makes you more free. You're not a slave to your thoughts. You're not likely to be hoodwinked by your thoughts, because you can see them more clearly as they arise, as they come. And if they're not worth going with, you just let them fall away. Just because something comes up in the mind doesn't mean you're obliged to go with it. So stay with the breath. Have a sense of being at home with the breath. This puts you in a position of safety and well-being.